Hi everyone, thanks for watching. I'm Lauren from Guthrie and Ghani and in this video I'm going to be sharing with you all of the new fabrics that we have had into my fabric shop during the month of November. So I like to try and do these type of videos once a month where I sort of round up all of the new things that have been coming into the shop. We do have new things that come in all the time. Every week there is something new. So to see the very latest new things it's best to keep an eye on the just arrived section on the website or if you can watch my live Instagram question and answer sessions either on Instagram or the replays on YouTube each week then I always show the new things there because sometimes things come in and they then sell out again before I get to the end of the month and I'm doing one of these roundup videos. So just depending on when you're watching the video, sometimes stock can fluctuate a little bit, things might be showing out of stock. If there is ever anything that's showing out of stock, please do make use of our stock notification function. So if a product is sold out on the website, a little box will come up where you can pop in your email address, let us know how much of it you need. It's not a commitment to purchase it, it's just sort of letting us know what you're interested in and then we can let you know when it's back available again but I've got lots of really lovely things to show you tonight quite a lot of woven printed viscoses some planes some nice cozy jerseys some really beautiful tensils cozy wools and yeah I think you're in for an inspiring treat so I've made a blog post that goes along with this video inside there I will link to everything that I mentioned so if you're looking for something in if you're looking for something specific that I'm mentioning in the video the best place to find the listing for it is going to be in the blog post because I'll sort of structure it in the same way as I show all the fabrics in the video but to see the very very latest new things then do check out the just arrived section so first of all I want to show you some of the beautiful new prints that are in the new Atelier Brunette collection that we have had now at the point that I'm filming this video unfortunately not all of it's arrived yet I've got three different ones to show you and depending on when it does arrive I will be able to show you close-up clips of the other ones but if not I'll link to them all in the blog post anyway so I've got one that is a viscose twill it does come in another colorway as well but this is a beautiful sort of like um, kind of almost a bit like a muddy ready rusty color and because it's a viscose twill it's a little bit thicker so it's got that classic twill weave to it and then a really lovely kind of smaller scale more contemporary print really so it's sort of abstract kind of circles with yes yeah, some different colors in it so it's, it's opaque it doesn't need lined it's got good weight good body to it very versatile for tops dresses even lightweight trousers lightweight jumpsuits that kind of thing would be lovely as well it's gorgeous feels really really nice so that is one of them and as I said it does come in another colorway as well and then I've also got two colourways of this beautiful print here as well. This is an Echo Vero Viscose and it's a plain weave so it's got a bit of a smoother texture to it and it feels, it's kind of like a bit flatter than the, the twill which has a little bit more texture and a bit of sheen. This is a bit flatter but it's lovely lightweight, very fluid, very drapey, very floaty and a bit of a bigger scale print on this one so again that sort of contemporary print with the circles and semi-circles in the line so we've got one that's got the green and the beige and then the other one that's like an ochre and a sort of mauvey purple colour it's really nice the back the background I would say is like a black or a very very dark midnight colour and um, it's beautiful I think that would make a stunning really lovely top anything with gathers is going to look gorgeous in that as well it's a lovely fabric really nice N nice if you if you're not really into florals as much but you want a print and um, I think it's a really good option then we have had quite a few new of the fabric godmother prints as well so I have got all of them on rolls here they're quite floppy so I'm just going to be lifting them up one at a time really so you might have seen that if you follow me on Instagram you might have seen this one already this is the Ziggy print and I made the fiber mood air mine blouse in this one which is really nice it's a viscose crepe so it's quite textured and um, it's not a flat fabric but nice and fluid nice and floaty and yeah just a quite a nice celestial star print on it that is kind of quite abstract you know you wouldn't need to obviously worry about matching that or anything um, and yeah really good for blouses as in my airmine blouse but but I think it would make nice other, other nice tops blouses I think you could make a dress with it as well and I don't I think if it was a gathered gathered dress I don't think you need to line it maybe if it was something a bit straighter you might feel like you wanted to line it um, and then the next one is quite cool 
it has got this really nice um, swimmer's print on it. So it's a bit like a scene, really. Um, it's, on a, it's on a viscose lawn. It's very lightweight, very floaty, very silky. Um, the scale of it's a little bit bigger, so I'll open out a bigger section just to show you. Um, it's called Wild Swimmer, and yeah, it's just a little scene of people swimming out in the wild, in the mountains. Um, it's really fun, really nice for this this time of year. Beautiful sort of fluidity and drape in that one. It feels very soft as well, feels very silky. Um, there's a little dog there too, which is quite cute, and a little stag. So, so yeah, another nice fun one with a little interesting print on it the next one comes in two different colorways i have used one of the colorways to make the tilly and the buttons lot address um, but this is the other colorway here this is the jude print and this is in a viscose twill as well so it's got that little bit of a thicker sort of feel to it, a heavier weight but still lots of fluidity and drape so um if i can just hold up a little section of that you can see there it's quite floppy and fluid and yeah it's opaque again doesn't need lines so definitely any sort of dress in that one you wouldn't need to worry about lining that so yeah two colorways of that one and then the next one is absolutely gorgeous um, and you probably recognize the print itself it's just in a different colorway so this is the Joni print which was first made popular in the plain wee viscose with a cream background so this is now in a very dark navy background this is a viscose crepe but this this particular crepe is different from the viscose crepe that the ziggy print is on i would say this crepe's a little bit more is it's flatter it's not a sort of i think rough's the wrong word the ziggy print crepe is just bit more textured this is like a little bit of a smoother crepe and um, again it's got that beautiful scale of the floral stripes on it and um, very fluid very drapey I think it's gorgeous lovely lovely colors in that as well and you could definitely do some really interesting things with the stripe of those those as well whether they're going you know vertically in some parts of the garment horizontally in another I think it would look very very beautiful and then the last fabric godmother print that I have got is this one here which is nice and bright and um, it's on a viscose crepe as well but this crepe has got is a little bit more textured so it's more like the ziggy print this crepe this is the Scylla multi viscose fabric and um, so lots of nice brighter colors in there and I think this would make a lovely little dress and um, it's gorgeous some really nice bright greens and pinks and yellows in there um, a lovely lovely florally print if you are into your florals so that's all the fabric godmother ones and then i do have some other floral viscose prints that aren't you know necessarily like a specific designer but still lovely all the same so we have had a couple of colorways of this one here this is a viscose twill as well so again just a little bit thicker and heavier this is the khaki animal print viscose twill and we do have it in a gray colorway as well so it's just quite a small scale animal print on a lovely sort of khaki background color it's kind of like reminding me a bit of the one that i've got on just now this is the helen's closet gilbert blouse and that we did as a kit a few years ago and um, which also works in a viscose this is actually a tensile but tensile and viscose behave in a very similar way and um, so yeah two colorways of this one here again it's just a nice thickness nice nice weight to that so very versatile from from tops and blouses into dresses and then again sticking with the viscose twills i have also got this one here which again comes in two colorways we've only got a little bit left of of the other colorway but this is the mauve one the mauve fluid floral viscose twill fabric 100 percent viscose and again just got that lovely viscose twill weave that thicker thicker texture and weight to it bit of a larger scale floral here so you can kind of see the sort of scale against me here um, and yeah it's going to look look gorgeous in all sorts of tops and dresses and um, so yeah a couple of colorways of that one and then this next one here this is a viscose crepe so again just a little bit more textured it's the indigo dainty floral viscose crepe and it has got just quite a small scale little floral print on it with a nice classic navy background so just just a really lovely print for a cute little dress or a top 
really nice, some nice bright pops of colour in there, a bit of pink, a bit of red, a bit of blue, a bit of orange. And yeah, just another, another nice kind of classic one. And then we have got two colourways of this one here, which is a bit like polka dots, but we called it seeds. They look a little bit more like seeds rather than spots. Spots all seem to be popular, but this is just, just a bit of a variation on that. This is the Coral Polka Pip Viscose Fabric. So it also comes in a black and a white as well. So just, just quite a nice small scale classic print, really good for just an everyday little blouse blouse or top or you could definitely make a dress out of this as well it feels very soft and smooth it's a plain weave viscose so the surface of it feels much much smoother and yet it's just very silky and floaty and nice so just if you want kind of non non fussy print really that is a good option and then just to let you know that we now have the viscose print that was featured in our merchant and mills ellsworth shirt kit as well um, it's a terrazzo print and it comes in three different colourways. This one is the black. It is a smooth, it is a plain weave viscose as well, so nice and smooth, matte finish to it. It's opaque, doesn't need lined, and again, very versatile across lots of things. Looks good in the Ellsworth, obviously. We still have some kits of them left, but would also be good for dresses as well at this time of year. That would be fine, just layer it up with a vest underneath and some cosy tights and you'll be fine. So lots of beautiful viscose prints there. If you're looking for something plain, I do have a few options for you. This is a new, we've got three colourways of this one in. This is the, this in particular one is the Cherry Crinkle Viscose Crepe Fabric. We've also got it in a black and a sort of sagey green colour as well. So it's nice, I think it's nice because it's plain. So if you are looking for a plain colour, then it's here. But because it's got the viscose crepe, it does just have a really lovely texture to it. And I think this would be beautiful as a nice little sort of party top. Something like the Closet Core Nyx blouse would be beautiful in this as well. I think the texture of it's just lovely and you notice the texture a bit more in this crepe because it's plain. All of the other crepes obviously have a print on them which so the print becomes the, the resounding feature. But because this is plain you just see the texture of the crepe a bit more and it, it makes it more of a feature of the fabric. So it is nice if you do want something plain but it's not totally boring because it's got that nice texture in it. So yeah, three colour ways of that one. And then sticking with the woven fabrics but with the planes, I have got a few tensel denims for you. They're all, I would say, a bit lighter weight, so not not necessarily for like jeans or anything. I think one of them you probably could make trousers with it, but I would say something more like the Merchant Mills Eve trousers, something like that, or maybe the Mega Nielsen flints would be good. Um, but for tight fitting jeans, not so much. This particular one here is a little bit lighter weight. It is the faded stone wash and it's 4.3 ounce tensile chambray fabric. So we did a kit, uh, I want to say a couple of years ago now, and it was using the Hajun Handmade Amherst shirts pa uh, pattern. And we had a light and a dark colourway of a tensile denim in that. This is very, very similar. So it's really lightweight. It feels amazing. Very silky, very fluid. So good for tops, blouses, shirts like that Amherst um, one that I showed you about. You could even make the Gilbert out of it like I'm wearing just now. Um, I would say that it's it's maybe like very slightly sheer. So for tops, definitely don't worry about it. For dresses, I guess it would depend on what the style was. You wouldn't necessarily need to line it if it was maybe like a bit fuller in the skirt or gathered. You know, it would have quite of a summery feel to it but it would work in something that was gathered beautifully because it's just so sort of buttery and silky and soft. So that one comes in a couple of colourways. This other tensile denim is a bit heavier. Now, don't be, don't be confused here because it is 10.4 ounces, which I did check with the supplier, but honestly, compared to some of the other weighted denims that we've got, it is not as thick and heavy. So we do an 11 ounce stretch denim, which, I would say is like classic for the closet core ginger jeans, it's, but it feels much thicker than this one, even though it's almost the same amount of ounces. This one is just, just feels much thinner. I don't know if it's just because it's made of tensile, 
but it is much more sort of floppier. It's, it, it physically feels thinner as well, which is why I'm saying I don't think it would be good for a stretch pair of jeans like the ginger because I think it would just be too thin. You need something, you need a trouser that's a bit looser like the Merchant and Mills Eve or the Megan Nielsen Flint but it feels really really beautiful and soft I mean some, a pair of trousers in this because it feels so luxurious it comes in a few different colourways as well it's got that bit of stretch in it it's going to make it really comfy it is a beautiful fabric to wear you know you need to take your time with it and so when you're sewing with it because it is going to move around a little bit more just like the other viscoses do but you know totally totally workable as long as you're prepared for it but it is a really, really, really lovely fabric. Washes beautifully, feels really comfortable to wear. Um, you know, it does, doesn't get smelly, it doesn't get sweaty. It's just, I, I, I love this type of tensile denim. I think it's, it is gorgeous for making just really classic garments that you, you are going to wear again and again. Now, the last um, woven range that I wanted to show you before I get onto the wools, and then I've also got some jersey to show you too, is just to let you know that we've got a range of plain flannel fabric in. So these are 100% cotton. They're brushed flannel, so they feel really snuggly and cosy and soft. They are all quite plain, flat colours. So I would say they'd be good for maybe co combining with some of the checked Robert Kaufman flannel. So maybe if you're making a pair of pyjamas, you could have, you know, a, a like contrast the top and the bottom with the with the plain ones. Um, but yeah, they I think they'd, that was kind of what I had in mind when I got them in really was that you'd be making nice cozy pajama bottoms with them or you know a set of pajamas um but they would they would definitely be good just for making a shirt or a blouse as well to be nice and coat like a nice cozy layer for the winter um so yeah lots of colors in that one just a, another kind of classic basics range that we have got in for this time of year and then the jersey ones that i have got to show you um not loads but there are a few very lovely ones so again you might have seen on instagram that we have now got a range of these amazing tensile i'm on about tensile again these are tensile ribbed jerseys so these are from the um, the meat milk collection they are beautifully soft this is what we had in our true bias zoe tank top kit which was super popular we've now got it in much more colors and um, that's what i've got on under my gilbert blouse here as well basically living in them at this time of year and um, so yeah it's good for t-shirts tops vests long sleeve tops it feels so nice next to the skin it's so luxurious very soft washes beautifully and um, and yeah, just a really, a really lovely fabric to have next to your body. Very luxurious. And now just lots more colours available in that one. So this particular one here, this is the cherry. But yeah, we've got all the classic basic colours plus some brighter ones as well. And then this next one is another ribbed jersey, which again comes in a few colours. I think one of them might be sold out already, but we do have quite a, quite a bit of the navy and um, also like a sort of mustardy colour too. So this is the variated rib knit fabric. It's a viscose polyester mix. It's got a lovely texture to it. So you can see that the rib sort of varies in its thickness. It physically feels quite thick, but the viscose makes it quite floppy and drapey. So it would be good for, for a sort of slouchy type cardigan. So Helen's Closet Blackwood, um, the True Bias Marlowe. I think you could also make the named Esme cardigan out of it as well. That's like a, quite a long cardigan and it would be a more sort of swishy style of one. Also good for the True Bias Nico. So it's got lots of stretch in it. So good for things that are very fitted like the Nico or the Megan Nielsen Rowan. Um, and yeah, just a, ni a nice cosy one, which is a bit more interesting because it's got that variated rib knit on it. Then this next one here is just, again, like a sort of classic plain range of fabric. So this particular, this is the navy and this is the lightweight soft ponty fabric. So it's a mixture of polyester and medal. And this would be really good for like a pair, a, a nice sort of lightweight hoodie. It would have more of a kind of sporty feel to it. It would be good for a pair of jogging bottoms as well. It's got a really lovely sort of softness to it. Very, very soft and silky. Nice, nice and lightweight and fluid. Would feel really comfortable to wear. Um, 
and and yeah just comes in some nice classic plain colors as well so quite good maybe if you're looking for something that's more unisex or would cross between um men's and ladies garments i think that is a really nice option and that so that's all the that's all the jersey ones that i had to show you and then in terms of the wools actually before i show you the wools we have got back in stock again this teddy shirling fabric so we have had it before we've now got it back in again um, and this has been super popular for people making jackets where the collar is fluffy you could also line a jacket with this as well so you could line the bodice of a jacket with it which I think would look lovely too and um, some people have actually also just been generally making garments with it as well somebody on my Instagram live wanted to use it to make a Marlowe I think the only thing is maybe the backing of it just having a look at it now I don't know if the backing of it would feel particularly nice like directly next to the skin and um, because it's sort of woven on the back but I, what you could do is even line it you could just cut out the same pattern pieces of the Marlowe in like a lightweight jersey fabric and um, and then just line it with that and then I you know it would look nice and cozy and snuggly I think that might look quite cool so yeah we have got that Teddy Sherling back in it's it's um mostly cotton but it does have a bit of polyester in it as well i can't sorry i can't find the tag now to read you the composition um there it is 70 percent cotton and 30 percent polyester and then we also have got some of the sanded cotton twill this was a fabric that we used for the anna allen philippa pants kit which sold out super quick we managed to get some more of the fabric so we've got a black we've got a stone and i have got more navy on the way so depending on when you're watching this fabric more will be coming it's a hundred percent cotton it's quite rigid it feels really soft on the outside it's kind of got this subtle brushed sheen to it so really good for non-stretch um trousers like the anna allen philippa pants you could also make the persephone out of it that's another anna allen pattern the megan nielsen dawn jeans would also be good for it so anything that that is calling for non-stretch denim it would be really good for that and then the last ones that i've got to show you are some woolen fabrics actually sorry before i get to the wools i will eventually get to them we have got a few more colors of this one so i think this fabric was in the last new fabrics video but i've just had some new colors since then this particular one is the muted moss bamboo blended twill fabric so it's bamboo and recycled polyester this is an absolutely gorgeous trouser fabric it doesn't crease and um, it says wrinkle free on the selvage here and it's, it's it's perfect for sort of wider leg trousers like the closet core mitchell you could make the megan nielsen flints in it as well even the merchant mills eve in it too it feels really soft it's a great thickness and yeah, it just comes in loads of really lovely classic colors that you would you'd want to make trousers with so it's definitely a really good trouser option if you are interested particularly in trousers i do have another video and blog that's just about making trousers for this time of year so you can always check that out as well okay finally these woolen fabrics that i wanted to show you so we did have other colors of the boiled woolen now we've now got the fuchsia too so this is the fuchsia boiled wool it is the 100 percent boiled wool it's 2350 a meter beautiful lovely bright fuchsia color this is like a double-sided fabric basically it kind of looks the same on both sides got a bit of give as boiled wool does good for little jackets and coats depending on the style you might want to interface it or not um and we do have we have restocked on other colorways of the boiled wool as well so they are available again and then the other wools that i've got to show you are sort of in varying thicknesses this one is um a little bit lighter weight so maybe more for like a blazer or a kind of smarter sort of tailored type jacket as opposed to a coat and um, you could definitely make a skirt with it as well or a little pinifer it's the two-tone peacock wool fabric it's 100 percent wool and it's just nice because it's got quite a few different colors going on in there it's not a flat fabric we do have another colorway of it as well and um, i did machine wash this one and it did shrink a little bit in the wash so i would say it's probably best for dry cleaning this one here 
um, and then the next wool one that I've got is this gorgeous heather coloured one, this purpley one here. So this is the heather herringbone wool, it, again it's 100% wool, it's, it's quite lightweight as well, so again we're, we're more in the sort of jacket, blazer department here, skirts, pinafore style dresses, if it was like a lined, lined shift dress maybe would look nice as well and that nice lovely herringbone weave to it too. Um, again I think the weave of that is a little bit lighter weight, I think you would be better dry cleaning that one. Then this next one <laughs> we have called avocado which I think is an excellent description because it really it looks like the colour of avocado. Avocado Subtle Grid Wool Fabric. It's 100% wool as well. It's got a lovely texture to it and when you look closely you can see this sort of grid woven within the fabric. Again, we're in sort of blazer jacket kind of territory here in terms of thickness. It's not quite thick enough for a winter coat. Um, again, you should make a skirt with it, pinafore dress, um, shift dress, that kind of thing if it was lined. I would say you probably want to line something like that. Um, it doesn't feel quite as soft as some of the other wools that we've got that are more kind of trouser weight. Um, but yeah, I just, I just love the colourway of that one. I think that one's really, really lovely. And then the last couple of wools that I've got, something very lovely and bright in pink. So if you like bright colours, you're in the right place. Um, this one here is the, this is the lipstick boiled wool effect blended fabric so it's 65 polyester 35 percent wool so it's a little bit different from the boiled wool because the reverse just looks different you can see that the way that it's woven is just a little bit different it's got that sort of texture on the back because you know it gets it gets boiled and kind of felted afterwards and that's what gives that texture so it's not it's not double sided like the 100 percent boiled wool but on the on the outward facing side looks very similar and just in this gorgeous, lovely, like vibrant, vibrant colour. I would say this is more, we're getting more towards coats here. And um, this is more like a coat sort of weight fabric. And I would say it doesn't, it doesn't have the give like the boiled wool does as well. It's, it's a bit more stable, holds its shape a little bit more. And then this last one here is the cloud grey wool fabric. Um, so this one's 100% wool, it's 2450 a metre. And I would say that this is, this is a little bit thicker than some of the others. So I think you probably could make a blazer or a jacket with this. And then if you interfaced all of it with woven interfacing, I think you probably could make a coat out of this as well. Um, it's got a few different tones of grey in it. It's not a totally flat grey colour. So it is, you know, it does have a little bit of depth to it. Um, and I think it's, it's just, I think it's a little bit of a brighter grey. It's not like a dull grey. So it is, you know, it is nice for, for just like a classic grey coat if you're looking for something that's not sort of too kind of dark and dark and dull it's got a little bit more vibrancy to it um, and then I think just having a little look around I think I have shown you everything that was in my pile to show you so remember all the fabrics I've mentioned are in the blog post that goes with this video so that's the best place to find a specific fabric that I'm talking about but the very latest new things are always in the just arrived section online if you've got any questions at all then just feel free to drop them in the comments below and I'll try and get back to you for the quickest answer always best just to give us an email and the G&G &G team will get back to you right away because we monitor that email address all the time you can give the shop a call as well if you're getting stuck with anything um, but thanks so much for watching if you haven't subscribed to my channel already just remember to hit subscribe so you don't miss out on my next video and I'll see you next time bye